creature has stopped its rampage in the center of the park. Now that we can have a good look, we can confirm this is not the same reptilian creature that recently terrorized Manhattan. Strangely, it's... <laughs> I like how she's just chilling by it. She doesn't even care. She's like, oh, there's this dinosaur-like creature behind me. No big deal. Must report the news. Oh, snap. <gasps> it's the Tesseract. No, it's not. What? What? Is this in the comic books? I'm not as familiar with this thing. Wow. That is something else. When can I just go to free mode? A little sick of these monsters. Okay, so now I gotta defeat this giant thing from the Incredibles. Here I go. Oops, that wasn't good. Um, Alright, swing to the top. Swing to the top. Come on, Spider-Man. Stop being a tool. Come on. Oh, go for the weak spot. What's the weak spot? Oh. Apparently I hit a weak spot, guys. It's the orange looking things. Come on. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. I'm pressing buttons at this point. Um, I have a question for you guys. What do you think of the new web shooters? Um, I know in the comic books, in the cartoon series, Spider-Man had web shooters. Do you like the fact in the movie, the new one, he has web shooters, um, which are these little devices that he attaches to his wrist, um, which he created that give him the ability to swing around? Or did you like how it was in the original movie series, how it was part of the, of the, I guess, infection or the, the mutation that he has when the spider bites him? And it actually comes from his wrist, and it's kind of uh, organic and non-artificial. What do you guys? Which one do you guys like better? So yeah, just tell me what you guys think. We gotta find a new weak spot now. Um, you press the Z button; it goes into like the Spidey Sense mode, and you're kind, you can kind of just toggle around, and um, it tells you, it gives you indications of where to go and what what might be useful to you. Um, so let's, uh, it's telling me these lamp posts are, might be useful, so let's do that. Let's go on these lamp posts, and go for the weak spot, which is... Oh crap, I should have dodged the missile! Dodge the missiles! Alright, let's just go, Spider-Man. We don't give a crap! Where's my health meter? How do I know if I'm gonna die or not? This is interesting. This is very interesting. How do I know if I'm going to die? Oh, it's on his back. See, sometimes you gotta listen to these annoying voices and they'll give you clues. Alright. Like I was saying previously, in the original games, the web, how you shot it and stuff, was like really realistic. And it actually, it, it really, it was, what was cool about it was that it would actually attach itself to, to buildings and you chose when to let go of the web and stuff like that whereas in this game it's you just press one button and it does the animation for you and it's not a, I don't think it's not as smart it just seems more it seems like I'm playing a game from like the N64 oh this, I see it 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 come on come on whoa 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 come on spider-man don't be stupid Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Just let me get it, man. Why won't you let me get that thing? There. Is it gonna work? Yes. Aha! Victory's ours. Ooh, sweet animation. Okay, so apparently the eyes um, can scan, just like a cash register.
All right, so I got in the eyes. You have to wait till your uh, this red glow is around your head, and then this red glow will be around the the robot's head too. And then you have to use like your like spider sensey thing to get on top of it. So now he's having trouble aiming, and he can't see me very well. And I think there's two more eyes that I actually have to get. So let me get those eyes, and I'll get back to you guys really quick. All right, he's completely blinded now. I've made it angry. Oh, now I gotta do my web spurts all over and hit the generators of this thing. Alright, it's like one thing after another. This is a pretty long boss battle. Um, it's actually kind of confusing too sometimes. Um, just because the camera is all over the place. I don't think I would have such a problem with it if the camera wasn't so weird. So let me spurt these things real quick. Make this thing, uh... You know, make it hard for him to walk. So apparently, like, instead of having a health bar, you, like, your, your screen just gets extremely red. And it makes, like, impossible for you to actually see. Oh, that took longer than I wanted it to be. <laughs> oh, man. When can I get to the free mode? This is just taking so long. Uh, like, in the previous games, it was like, oh, this is how you jump. This is how you swing. Now go have fun. And this is just like, oh, you have to save your girlfriend. She got bit by a so lizard. And there's this giant robot. And there's some dude in a cage with a crappy looking toilet next to him and writing all over the walls. Nice enough guy, but no one else seemed more interested in my research. Always insisted I focus on bats instead of reptiles for some uh, reason. No Batman out there, Doc. That's just ridiculous. There is a rat, though. And that rhymes. Anyway, I don't bet that one's particularly contagious. You see, it's not the new cross species themselves that alarm me so much as the deadly virus that's resulted as a side effect. And you say it's infected half my former colleagues. And Gwen. And Gwen. And our only hope is what? Alastair Smythe and his band of killer robots? To destroy the city worse than the virus could ever hope to. There has to be another way. Well, you don't think I broke in here just to tell you the good news, do you? Wait. What are you talking about? I'm gonna get you out of here. Really? Spider-Man breaking out the lizard from his cage? <laughs> Who's the crazy one here? I'm through discussing this. Time to make a decision. Wait. If you do this, you must promise me. No matter what happens, when it's all over, you must bring me back here. Now, let's go before my medication wears off and I realize how insane this situation really is. As soon as I get this door open, you run as fast as you can, okay? Right. Got it. Okay, we gotta get Dr. Connors out of his cell here. Um, does that require a lot of things, or can I just press a button and let them out? Like, seriously. No, it's gonna have me do a, a lot of stuff. Okay, wonderful. Well, let's, um, go through here, and... threats we've ever seen from a mental asylum? This will look good on my resume. Shut up, Spider-Man. Just shut up. Okay, that looks good. Extra content, I'll take it. So this is some sort of a mental institution where all the bad guys from everywhere live, including Dr. Connors, but Dr. Connors will aid us in the capture of these mutants, animal, humans. Um, so that's why we must rescue him. Now for those wondering, I'm not gonna be playing the whole game. I just, I wanted to get to a free mode but I don't see that happening at all. I don't think there is a free mode in this game. I'm I was I was duped. I, I was I was I was fed false information from this box that that they say there's a f <laughs> your power, your choice, your playground and apparently it hasn't been very uh I have not given any choices. I have no playground to play in and it's been somewhat of an very unenjoyable, like, a terrible experience. Actually, it's not that bad. But it's not that great, either, so... I'm gonna play it, keep... This is some sort of a Simon Says. 
Okay, let's actually see what this means. Okay, so there it goes. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it's blue and red. Come on. Yeah, isn't that red next? Blue. Red. Okay, let's look at this. Number two. Goes like this, then comes up, then goes there. Comes all the way around, and goes to red. This thing glitched. I just... Green. So it should be blue, red, purple, green. Okay, let's go back. Okay, this obviously goes there. So that's blue first. Then we have the second one. You match this wire up with it. It goes clearly to red. So I will click red. And I have the error screen. Oh, no. Is it backwards? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, gosh, I, I don't... I. I don't know what it wants me to do. And I don't want to end the game on this on this note of me can't I can't do a, si a simple Simon says thing over here. This makes me wit like miss Spider-Man 2. Like I I am seriously just going to like like put that play that game right after this cuz this this is just like uh it's like it's everything that that could go bad is bad. Like everything that they chose Everything that was good in the first game, they're like, okay, let's take those out and let's substitute it with subpar this and subpar that. And um, let's try to make it as different as possible while frustrating the, the, the player as to the extreme. And I have to say that if that was their goal, they've accomplished that. Uh, they, they, really, they really did what they're set out to do. And that was to upset the player. Blue, red. Am I supposed to pick it up? I don't believe this. Okay, let's let's. Can we shoot it with your spider cream? Match match the wires. Okay, so we'll do that blue one. And I, hey, if someone who has played this game knows what I'm doing wrong. Enlighten me. Tell me. Tell me in the comments down below. Um, Cause I I went to preschool like many of you. I've watched Sesame Street, and I learned the fundamentals of color matching years ago. Maybe there's something along the way that I might have forgotten. Oh, what's this? Was that something I wasn't even supposed to do? Is this the the true the 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 actual next chapter of this game is in this door here apparently not I have nothing nothing at all you guys have seen me go from one part of the game to the next one frust very frustrating segment to the next I don't know what to tell you guys I picked this up with the highest hopes I'm like if it's anything like the previous movie incarnations this is gonna be great I just hope the movies not as bad as this game I mean if if that is the f the oh man I'll try this one more time, and guys, I apologize. I wanted to get farther. If I do actually end up getting farther in this game, I'm gonna post a follow-up of me going uh, on the playground, the sandbox of this game. Hope I'm, and again, I don't even know if there's a sandbox part of this game, and I'm hoping there is. Um, let's try this one more time, okay? Here we go, everyone. Follow along. Use your fingers. Let's do the wires together here. Ready? Okay. No, this is the first one. We have to match it with the color, okay? So. We have blue. That's the first one, right? All right. So far, so good. We're doing all right. All right. Second one. Do, 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 do. And it goes up. And then we take a right. And then down. And then left. And then up. Red. Nothing. Okay. So maybe, maybe that's not how we're supposed to do it. Maybe we're supposed to go red. And... Nah. Oh, well, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. Um, again, I apologize. Do I recommend this game? Does it get better? I don't know. But from what I played, I can tell you that I 
you want my honest opinion, put in Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 2 or the GameCube or whatever system that you had it on, whatever it was out back then, and play Spider-Man 2. It's a much more enjoyable game, much more enjoyable experience. It feels like a Spider-Man game. This feels like they, they wanted to make a bad Spider-Man game, and they did it, and this is what this is. Um, so, with that said, I'm Chris, and you've just been crisscrossed, and I've been crisscrossed this time by Activision. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.